my name is Alessandra. I also go by Ali. I'm Harmony. Eduardo Sebastian Pass. My name is Emma Doyle. I am part of Snap Design Academy. SDA has already impacted my future as of yesterday. <laughs> It was like an out of mind experience. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, I think. I haven't found anything like it. Just the fact that it was like in partnership with Snapchat was what really was like, wow, this is crazy. Like what an opportunity. My name is Camille Spalding Saylor. I am senior philanthropy program manager here at Snap. If you have an idea, if you really believe in something, don't wait for it to happen, make it happen. Snap Design Academy is a program that we launched three years ago. The goal of the program was to create a six-week unforgettable experience for 20 community college students from traditionally under-resourced communities. We've created these programs so that these students are able to get access, get opportunity, and network with professionals that are actually in these fields. It is about change, about experimentation. My name is Jose Garcia and I'm the program manager for the SNAP Academy. Every scholar participates in a series of lectures, workshops, fireside chats, and they even get paired with a mentor that's a current SNAP employee. Every Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm on my computer that they sent to me <laughs> to talk to you guys. And I'm just like, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I'm Sean Arian. I'm the executive director of latech.org. One of the main things we do is we help SNAP reach into particularly the community college system in Los Angeles and find talented young people who are ready and best able to take advantage of the opportunities that they'll get at the SNAP Design and the SNAP Engineering Academies. To say that you are a part of such an amazing opportunity hosted by like a tech giant, there's definitely going to be a really big impact on my future as a designer. My name is Cole Moss and I am a co-instructor for the SNAP Design Academy. What we hoped for when we built this program was that we were bringing in students that had the opportunity to grow. Late night crew, Woo! you know the vibes. How different it is being in an environment that you are accepted for who you are, that you have the freedom to share your ideas. I've never been in a community where everyone's so supportive and so like, they want to help. Like we have people who are like in high positions willing to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one, and like, I never thought that was a thing. One thing I just always think about and keep in mind is the difference between art and design. Exploring both of those fields and seeing how they relate to one another uh, has been a, a really uh, powerful way for me to learn more. Oftentimes, like really great innovative ideas are gonna encounter resistance naturally, and that can be a sign of uncovering something interesting rather than a reason not to pursue it. We've had some amazing people from the SNAP team come and talk to us, and the fact that they have time out of their day to just like come tell us about their work and how they got there is, is really amazing because you don't get to hear that often from people so high up. When you're in the making, you may not feel like you've gotten to 100%, but oftentimes it's better than anything would have, anything anyone would have been able to concept, and, and that's okay. My name is Jack Brody. I'm the uh, director of product uh, and design at Snap, so I lead the, the design group that works on the core Snapchat applications. I was fortunate enough to, to be able to do a fireside chat and lend some of my experience in my career uh, to the students. Really have that persistence and that grit to believe in kind of like the problem that you're looking to solve. When you hear an idea, no matter how absurd it might be, instead of shooting it down, open your mind to it. See what you can build out on top of that. Part of the fun of having this program is being at the campus, at Snapchat, sort of getting to eat lunches there, walking over, hanging out, sort of talking that way. But I think we've done a really great job of sort of making this still feel like home in certain ways. Hi, my name is Lindsay Heiser, and I am the SNAP Program Philanthropy Manager overseeing the SNAP Design and Engineering Academies this summer. This year being faced with a global pandemic definitely shifted how we operate our SNAP Design and Engineering Academies. Despite not being able to meet in the classroom, the SNAP team has done everything that we can to make that magical and enriching experience for the students. We were able to meet the students where they are with the Wi-Fi, with the computers, so that they had zero barriers to being part of the program. We're actually going to be donating to you all your laptops and your um, at-home setups. So you guys get to keep everything. Ooh, yay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are yeah, amazing. Of course, of course. 
And I think this really opens up a lot of opportunities for us to grow and expand the program. With us now being forced to go virtual, there's the opportunity for us to expand this and not only do this in Los Angeles, but anywhere around the world. I'm Jeremy Gorman and I'm the Chief Business Officer at SNAP. I think the program in which you participated this summer is remarkable. I hope you learned a lot. I know that we learned a lot from you as well and we can't wait to see you again.